See Infinite come out here with a Claren, Heavy Mace. Uh, they do manage to get the top cap, uh, the top, obviously, position. Uh, they have the Heavy heavy Scythe, another one-handed uh, Curse Staff, and another one-handed Holy. Abyss running their typical comp with the uh, Leather Demonic Staff, ban Banana 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 running the Icicle, Ketka running the one-handed Holy. In fact, actually, he runs a two-handed Holy to start off with here. Uh, Riser and uh, Mohicans running the... Uh, one-handed curse and the clarent they just put so much pressure onto infinite they haven't really got the target focus on infinite down mohicans takes a lot of damage but he has so many defenses and he's used to taking so much pressure that he's always used to just running back riser is really over engaged here and uh i don't understand why is this far like far up there's no real reason to him primordial actually does something really really good here he gets the death curse onto riser in the ice block so as soon as he comes out of the ice block he can just put so much damage onto him and obscurial does fall just because of the uh frozen hell and demonic combo from the abyss team it's just so so strong together primordial lust alive but the infinite just got cleared up as soon as they had to try and retreat down the choke I think they would have had a better chance if they just stayed up on the up on the actual top and just brawled it out rather than try to retreat back uh, again, a very, very convincing win from the Abyss. They've been a really dominant team this beta so far, so it's not particularly surprising, but yeah, it was a very interesting fight. Ooh, I've skipped a little bit too far there. So again, for the guys on YouTube watching this, uh, I am recording these. I'm actually streaming this right now. Just to go, I'm going to go through every single video over the next uh, today and tomorrow. So uh, yeah, if you do, if I do answer to chat or, or whatever, then you know, you know why now. Uh, so Infinite don't opt to choose anything. I do believe Kek was actually running Great Holy in the last one, which is a little bit of a difference to what we normally see from him. Um, it's interesting that he opted to run that. I don't really know why. Potentially it's just appeal for himself and the team. Obviously they don't need to worry about too much sustainability as the Abyss team does have a lot of damage coming out. Um, but we see Abyss just walk straight in and go really aggressive. Banana Bar using that Frozen Beam on Real X Orgy, I think it was just to allow Riser to set up the... Um, death curse and he does look how low rail x goes as soon as that death curse goes down you see him pop pretty much everything to run back he is running sprint which i find a bit odd but the demonic came out and it just puts so much damage and again they're having to rotate down the stairs real x manages to do so much um damage onto mohicans though I, I think if abyss had kind of just pulled back and held the choke like they want to normally in situations they'd have been a lot stronger just because well, what could uh, Infinite have done? Vade does take a Death Curse here. I think he might go down to this here, if not go very low. Uh, the Frozen Hell comes down with a Demonic from Abyss, just to zone people out, basically. Kekka is on the one-handed Holy here. He's running the Energy Potion, which I think is a bit weird. Uh, I don't think that's really necessary, but he has to just try and heal people here. Aggressor's so low, and I believe Infinite do take this round. So, they kind of won that just because they just brawled, and... I still think it was a mistake to rotate down the choke, but this is potentially what we could have seen out of, the inf out of Infinite on the first fight if they'd have kind of just took the fight to the Abyss and stayed with them. Um, but fair play to them. They put a lot of pressure out. Mohicans is definitely the kill target for the Abyss team, followed potentially by Riser um, or Ketka, but Ketka's always so far positioned back, and Banana Bear is pretty much always stood next to him, able to peel. So Ketka's always going to be a real hard target. Um, Riser is doing a lot of damage here, and the thing is, they actually still have a solid team comp here. They have a healer with lots of energy, and ultimately, that's they do take the energy from the energy potion and the druid cal to kind of take this. Uh, Banana Bar is just there to peel, and Riser can kill one person at a time as long as they don't have a cleanse. So, great comeback from the Abyss here. They they probably didn't deserve to win that. Truthfully, if Infinite had kind of just kept pressuring the right people, they'd have held a lot more of a commanding stance, but they do take a 2-0 clean sweep here, and it was well-deserved. Abyss kind of kept the composure and played very, very well.